All right, today I'm gonna to be talking about gallium. So gallium is a really cool metal. So at about room temperature, gallium melts. Um, so if I held this in my hand long enough, it would start melting and become just like mercury. But the cool thing about gallium is it's not as heavy of a metal as mercury, and so it's not poisonous to you. It does turn your fingers a little gray though, so it's best to wear gloves, especially when it's in the liquid form. So gallium is a really cool metal because it's one of the four metals that are known to be a liquid at room temperature. The others are cesium, rubidium, and mercury. But what makes it even cooler is that gallium isn't toxic unlike the other three. So you can play with it in your hand. Here I'm wearing gloves just to protect my hands from turning black when I play with the gallium. You don't have to wear gloves if you don't want black hands though, then you should wear gloves. Another thing to be careful with with gallium is that gallium diffuses into the lattice structure of most metals and makes them very brittle. So if you get gallium on aluminum, it will make the aluminum become very brittle. It'll even do it for steel too. So you have to be careful what you get the gallium on if you don't want to turn your strong metals into something that's brittle. What amazes me about gallium is that you can have this liquid in your hand and it's easy to forget that it's actually a metal when it's a liquid in your hand. So what I wanted to do, and I wanted to test if this would work, is to cast a nail from gallium. See if I can make a gallium nail. And then nail that piece of uh, gallium into a piece of wood, see if I can do that, and then melt the nail. I thought that would be a really cool way to show the awesomeness of gallium to show that it's this metal that's also a liquid at room temperature. It's a very unique metal. So I'm gonna make a mold for it just using some modeling clay. I'm gonna press this steel nail into here and see if I can make a little mold for the gallium. Press it in. We'll only do it about that long. Pour our liquid gallium in there. Okay, we'll let that harden and see if that worked. Okay, let's see if our nail worked. Hey, cool, it did. I didn't think it got all the way down in there. Look at that. That's cool. There's my gallium nail. Okay, now I'm gonna test if my gallium nail can actually be nailed into a solid piece of wood here. So here's my nail, made out of pure gallium. Let's see if it works. Shattered. It went in though. So you can nail a piece of gallium into wood. So now let's see if we can get it out. Okay, now let's try to just heat up our gallium. Try to get it out of the wood because it's nailed in there pretty good. Let's see if we can melt it with a hair dryer. <laughs> okay, amazing. One second, it's a solid piece. Next, it's just liquid. Pretty awesome. Yeah, gallium is fun to play with. So what makes gallium act like this? Why can it go from a solid to a liquid at room temperature? 
Well, one of the main reasons is the cubic structure of the atoms in gallium versus other metals like aluminum. In aluminum, the atoms are arranged in such a way that the atoms are very close to each other and so they can easily bond with each other. But in gallium, it kind of has a weird structure. It's not like the normal lattice structures of metals. It's called orthorhombic. And no side of the cube is the same as the other. So A does not equal B does not equal C. And what this means is that the atoms are pretty far spaced from each other, so they can't bond to each other very well. So they'd rather just be in the liquid form where they can be closer to each other and they can bond really well. So that makes the liquid structure very stable for gallium. The result of this is a metal like gallium that has the highest ratio between its boiling point and its melting point. Its boiling point is 2600 Kelvin, around 8 times higher than its melting point. That's higher than any other metal in the periodic table. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you learned something about gallium from my video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Give me a comment in the comment section and I'll see you next time.